Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated sand timer in PowerPoint. So the first thing you want to do is go to Insert and Shapes and insert a rounded rectangle and then click and drag that and round the corners. Then insert a normal rectangle over the top and then select the first shape and hold down control and select the second shape and then go to merge shapes and subtract. Then remove the outline and change the color to a light blue. Then press control D to duplicate the shape and change its color to a darker blue. And then while holding down shift, resize the shape and put it in the middle of the other shape. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape and this time change it to a sand like color. Then while holding down shift, resize the shape and put it in the middle of the other shapes. Then select all of this and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then while that is still selected, go to rotate and flip vertical and then place this over the top of the other shape. Then go to insert and insert another rounded rectangle and click and drag and then round the corners of this and remove the outline from this and change it to a gray color. Then duplicate this and put it on the bottom. Then go to insert and select another rounded rectangle and draw a rectangle from the bottom edge of the top shape to the bottom edge of the bottom shape and round the corners of this and then remove the outline and change this to a sand color and then go to shape effects and soft edges and give it soft edges. Then select all of this and go to align and align center. Then go to select and open up the selection pane and now we're going to rename these shapes to make them easier to animate. So first of all I'm going to group all of the background together so hold down control and select all of the shapes that aren't sand colored. Then press control G to group and while that is still selected send it to back. Now we have this shape here called group 14 and double click on this to rename it and rename it our glass. Then select the other shapes and rename this one middle. And then rename this one top. And rename this one bottom. Then close the selection pane and open up the animation pane. And the first animation we're going to add in is to make the top half disappear and we're going to have it wipe out. And we're going to make it go from top to bottom to make it look like the sand is falling. Then we're going to make the middle section appear. And this is also going to be a wipe and it's going to be from top to bottom to make it look like the sand is falling. Then the bottom section needs to appear. This is going to be a wipe animation and we're gonna leave it from bottom to top to make it look like the sand is building up in the bottom section. Then the next animation is to add another animation to the middle section and to make this disappear also with a wipe animation. And this one is going to be from top to bottom again. Then select all of the animations 
and change them to with previous. Now we're going to slow down these animations a little bit and make them last a bit longer. And then for the bottom section, you're going to want to add a delay as well as making it longer. And then for the middle disappearing animation, you're going to want to add an even longer delay and also increase the duration. Now, if we take a look at what this looks like, you can see the sand is falling and then building up in the bottom section. Now, the next stage of this animation is to get the hourglass to spin in order to make it look like it's being turned over. So in order to do this, I'm going to copy the hourglass by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it and then copy the bottom section as well and line these up. And then select all of this. and press Ctrl G to group it. Then, while this is still selected, send it to back and then place it exactly behind the other section. Then select the bottom section here and add an animation to it to make it disappear and select the hourglass and add an animation to make this disappear as well. And then this animation needs to be after previous, and this animation needs to be with previous. Then open up the selection pane again, and for the grouped section that I just made, I'm going to rename this our glass two, and then select this, and give it an appear animation. And then add a spin animation to this. And then go to effect options and change it to a half a spin. And then change it to start with previous and OK. Then change this animation to with previous and now play this to see what it looks like. So the sand falls and then the whole thing spins. So that is the first repeat of the animation. In order to get it to repeat again, we're going to select everything. And you can see, as well as selecting all of the shapes, it has also selected all of the animations. And then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And you can see, as well as duplicating all of the shapes, it's also duplicated all of the animations. Now, while that is still selected, go to Format and send it to Back. And then resize it so it perfectly lines up with the other shape. Now, if we just play it like this, there's going to be some obvious problems because we have two copies of the same shape. So in order to fix this, we need to make all of the shapes from the first animation disappear and then all of the shapes from the second animation need to appear. So the only shape that's still present at the end of the first animation is our glass two. So we're going to add an animation to this. And we're going to make it disappear. And this is going to happen after previous and it's going to happen here. Then the next our glass needs to appear. So we're going to add an appear animation to this and we're going to move it to here and change it to with previous. Then the top half of the sand also needs to appear. And this is also going to be with previous and is going to be here. And now if we play the animation, you should see the sand fall. And then the whole thing spins over and then the sand falls again. And then the whole thing spins over again. 
Okay, now I am happy with that. So in this video, I have shown you how to make an animated sand timer in PowerPoint, and that is everything.